Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of Omni Bros Live on a Thursday night. It's manga night, and tonight I am not alone. I'm joined by two wonderful co-hosts. We got Colleen's Manga Rex. How you doing? Doing good. I'm in Geo's house. <laughs> That's why we're yes. both purple. <laughs> We uh, adopted you, so that, that's that's one of the big news that uh, we wanted to share. We're I, I'm your now. adopted what? We're siblings now. Okay. So that's I was like, I don't think you're much older than me to be my dad. <laughs> no, no, God, no. no, no. Just uh, older brother now. <laughs> and the insufferable omnibus collector back after being, well, still sick, but less sick. Than a week ago, and that's always great. I'm so happy to hear that. The pee pee poo poo man himself, Riley, how you doing? Yeah, last week I could not, I couldn't talk at all. I was, it was bad. So, <laughs> so I'm here now <laughs> after missing all of that. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, things are, are going, I guess. I love it, love it. And uh, I'm here. Of course, uh, still petitioning for an Inhumans omnibus. The voting ended uh, last week, so uh, we're waiting for the damn results. It's it's uh, still not out. I don't know. So in the meantime, I'm still petitioning. So we'll see what happens uh, tonight. We're gonna go over some news, and I got some first impressions as well. Some new manga that came out recently. One is recent, like from a couple days. The other one has been has been out for like three weeks now. And I forgot to talk about it, so might as well do that now. Plus, we got some random news topics that could be fun to discuss uh, with the panel here. And, of course, everybody in the chat as well. So uh, excited, happy, all that fun stuff. Uh, Javier, thank you for joining. True Graphic Novel, thank you so much. Everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please remember to check out our wonderful sponsor, Making It Happen Night After Night. It is In Stock Trades, IST, your home for all things collected editions. You get your omnibus, trade paper bags, hardcovers, manga, and more for great discounted prices that range from 42 to 50% off. Free shipping in the U.S. at orders of 50 bucks or more. Loyalty discount adds an extra 2% off when you order on a week-by-week -week basis. Great packaging, wonderful customer service, only when you visit InStockTrades.com. So shout out to you. IST and um, 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 uh, where's my page? There it is. Sorry, I got a lot of my plate tonight. My second monitor just went complete a couple hours ago, so it's flashing lights. So if you see that on the side of my face, know that it is the second monitor going haywire right now. It's uh, Kanye fantastic. over on the <laughs> yeah, now I need to buy a new one. Um, so here's the uh. Deals of the week right now that you can check at In Stock Trades. Of course, you got uh, the Flash Omnibus. You got Enfield Gang Massacre, uh, fifty percent off. You got the Invisible Com Invincible, sorry, Complete Library Volume Five Hardcover at fifty percent off. Uh, Predator versus Wolverine, thirty-eight percent off, and you got Tales of the Titans, fifty percent off. This will be up until Tuesday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Then, no more. No mas. They will be gone. For some of the uh, new releases. Got some, some manga and uh, all that stuff. And the top sellers as well. Bunch of Omnis that people like. None of them star in humans, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? People buy them. Tisk tisk. So, so there you go. Go to InSockTrades.com. Also, also, I've been saving this news the entire week, and I got a surprise for everybody in the chat. So tonight, I'm going to wait until the end of the stream. We're going to give out the gift card giveaway. We've never done it on a manga stream. We've always reserved that for Mondays, which is when most of the audience tunes in. But uh, we had a little snafu with the previous winner. It's like three weeks, and he never got, got in contact with us. So... We can't wait that long. We got a extra gift card to give away. So we're going to do that tonight. So all you have to do in order to participate. I get to be here uh, for it. Yeah, this is so much fun. And uh, the right people are going to win. And that is amazing. We got no vultures, no weird random people, just the loyal 
uh, manga fans uh, from on the road. So all you have to do, give me a second here. Let me set this up. Uh, ah, install trades. All right. So all you have to do. There we go. So all you have to do, uh, chat, is throughout the evening, just do it once, please. No, no, don't don't spam. It, we only need one entry. Don't worry. It's not going to count twice. Uh, you're going to write in chat, hashtag in stock trades for a shot at winning a $50 gift card, courtesy of InStockTrades.com. Now, this gift card is open to anybody out there in the world. All you got to do is participate here, and you're in the running. So uh, do not be afraid if you're living elsewhere and you think you can't win it. You will. You, you, you know, you never know if you try. So all you got to do is write that. Let me start collecting the uh, comments. There we go. So if you want that gift card, all you got to do, once again, write. Uh, I'm going to leave this up for a bit. Hashtag in stock trades for a shot at winning that gift card. Let's see. Yeah, all right. We're still we're getting uh, entries. We're gonna leave that in here because not the the manga crowd is not used to giveaways, so uh, uh, it's gonna take a little bit. Uh, Gia for the three big. Oh my god, ah, I forgot I wrote uh, on Twitter. Damn it! <laughs> what were were you listening to us behind uh, before going live? Because I was just <laughs> about that. I have. <laughs> The wall, so I can put up a couple posters. Uh, GF for three people posters Black Clover, Chihaya Fudu, and Slam Dunk. Uh, that's a lot of sports minus one magical series. I still say Garfield, but I, I, I gotta throw blanket here for Garfield. I don't know. Do I want more Garfield? Yeah, yeah, I think you want three Chihaya Fudu posters, <laughs> three of them. I'll get the anime ones. Because three yeah, seasons, yeah. so three visual keys there up on go. the wall. Okay, okay. Well, I'll think about it. I'll add it to my pool of uh, ideas. All sure. right. We got people uh, entering the gift card giveaway. Love it. Get an in-stock trades poster. <laughs> nice. The big logo right yeah, yeah. at the top. On the wall. So speaking of in-stock trades and books... We always highlight some hauls, some manga hauls from you guys. Uh, did you guys pick up anything interesting that you want to show the peeps? Interesting? I don't know. Pick up things? Yes. Exciting things. <laughs> Exciting. All on you today, Rye. I don't know. Um... Oh, that that you're, you're, it keeps growing. I like that you're just picking a ton of books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Garfield Chihaya Fudu mashup. I agree with that one. That, I think Garfield playing Karuta. <laughs> Gar Garuta. Hey. I got there. <clears throat> All right. So I'm um, right now I'm reading uh Tomahawk Angel Volume 2. Nice. Cool stuff. If you like to see action with big monsters. Tomahawk Angel might be for you. Here's the uh, the new novel with artwork by Junji Ito. Um, Stitches. Here's the full cover. Can, can I say something mean about that book? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> I, I, I got it. I showed it off on my haul video. It is so tiny. Yeah, it's very thin. I thought, like, is this for kids? What, what, what's happening here? It probably is for kids. Um, but there's a lot more. It says older teens. I'm an older teen. It has a lot more illustrations inside than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. um, not counting the whole chapter at the end of manga material. But yeah. um, I just, you know, I want to insist on letting people know it's not a full manga volume. Um, Neighborhood Story Volume 2 from nice. Ayazawa. Look at that. A die cut uh, French flap on there. Look at that. Timon's B side volume three. Let's go. Cool. Look at that. Boruto volume 19. Wait. You know, I don't know what's happening, but they all look so fashionable in those covers. Marriage Toxin volume two. Moriarty the Patriot volume 15. 
a condition called Love Volume 7 with this fucking, this fucking dork right here. Let's fucking go. <laughs> fucking dork. Uh, welcome to Demon School Rumakun Volume 7. I like that arc with the evil Irumakun. Blue Period Volume 14. Nice. Fairy Tale Omnibus 3. Is that your favorite omnibus? You know it. Yeah, baby. How I Met My Soulmate, Volume 2. Jungle Juice, Volume 3. Tokyo Revengers, Volume 19 through 20, so the 10th omnibus. And Yakuza Fiance, Volume 7. Let's fucking okay. go. There's a couple that I already finished, so they weren't on the shelf. Like, um, sure. Team Phoenix Volume Three. I I had completely forgot or glossed over the fact that there are Barnes and Noble variant covers, and it wasn't available on um, Crunchyroll. So I went into the Barnes and Noble the other day and saw it on sale, and I grabbed it, and I was like, "Oh, there's variants." But the variants are each like highlighting a single character, and now I want to get all of the the variant covers. Variants, yeah. So, what to do? What to do? Um, I'm just going to call it at that. I don't want, feel like digging through my, my books that I've read. Nice. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. I, I, I am notorious for slow uh, ship, shipping, so uh, I don't got anything to show. What about you, Colleen? Anything interesting? Uh, not this week. I did pick up two volumes. Um, I got the first volume of the Kimi Ni Tudoke spinoff. The mm -hmm. soulmate, I think it's soulmate. what it's called. And then yeah. um uh, volume five of Cinderella Closet. But other than that, I wasn't able to find much else at the Barnes and Noble I went to yesterday, and I don't have those two books next to me, so <laughs> no haul. Yeah. Unfortunately, if anybody's out there uh tuning in for the first time, I, I can only buy manga uh, online. I don't have any stores to check out the only well i do but they don't stock up on the stuff that you guys mentioned uh if i go to walmart it's the same old thing every time like viz media stuff but i learned the other day that <laughs> walgreens of all pharmacies carries bonga now so uh, i i checked it out and it was uh i saw some helsing uh tokyo revengers i saw some uh, what was the other thing I saw? Dan uh, Dan and uh, some other random. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, hi man, thank you for joining. Oh, I love it, everybody. Thank you for uh, participating in the giveaway. Dang, I still got how I met my soulmate. <clears throat> I still got the get. Okay, gotcha. Get it. There's a condition called love, the manga that romanticizes toxic love. Toxic love. Just kidding. That's a hot button issue on the people that like to cause problems on online. From what I see, we all knew it was all. All us condition called love enjoyers knew this was going to happen. It still sucks, but oh yeah, I do. It just. Uh, don't fight it, enjoy it, live the fact that there's a that the manga's coming out and the anime just started. So just you know, I'm having fun. <laughs> I watched episode two right before hopping on, and yeah. it was it was like the animation still isn't great, but it's adapting the story very well. I'm happy with it for the most nice. part. Hopefully, it, it it makes people want to check out the book. Exactly. Uh, I have it on my watch list, but I have not started watching a bunch of the new stuff that uh, started bearing, just random stuff. Um, I feel like with the uh, romance series, it's almost always better to just let it build up anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to deviate from the script here of the show for a second. Uh, I only I, I don't have a lot of shows this season. 
if anybody was wondering, because uh, at some point in the season, I always show it on these streams. I'm not going to show my screen, but uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I watched the many sides of voice actor radio, which surprised me because I thought it was going to be regular broadcast radio, not like teleplays and uh, uh, audio drama radio, which is still popular in Japan. Over here, we don't do that anymore. Uh, so it's interesting. It's not, I, I still think the best representation of radio in, in that format would be uh, Wave Listen to Me. But it's cool. It's it's a bunch of girls. They're uh, famous idol slash seiyus. And uh, they're sort of frenemies. And they're now forced to act out a radio play together. So uh, we're going to work out their differences. And the other one that I saw recently, I saw Windbreaker, which I tweeted about. I honestly don't really care that much about the story, but the animation's amazing. I love it for uh, for the visuals. I saw that. Uh, what else? Mysterious Disappearances finally debuted, and I really enjoyed the first episode. It was hilarious because I was watching it at work, and I did not know that there were some not safe for work stuff in it. And I'm like, "Oh, fantastic! Yay!" So I got to watch out uh, when I'm watching the show now. Uh, but it's good if you like like creepy pasta, urban legends, urban folklore, whatever, and uh, manga. I think you'll you'll dig it. So yeah, that's sort of what I've been watching. I'll take this off for a minute. Uh, Gio, I want the Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong figures uh, you got. They look neat. Uh, yeah, I recommend them. I saw them recently online at the Walmart online store. Uh, they were being discounted for like 10 bucks or something. So you might want to check that out to see if it's still available. I do recommend them. You guys saw the monkeys, right? Last week or two weeks ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, perfect. Because I showed them off on Monday. The comic book crowd had not seen them and, and they loved it. They need to get their turn with the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what's been happening with the animes. Um, there's some other stuff. Astronaut. Uh, oh, of course. How could I forget? Tonari no Yokai-san. That is my shit right there. I love that series so much. Uh, the manga is fantastic, and the anime is so wholesome and nice and beautiful to look at. They... They went all out animating that thing, and I am so happy about that. And uh, I've only there's only one episode out, but it covers so much of the uh, of the manga. I was really surprised, but it's really good. If you like yokai and a wholesome story where the protagonist is a nekomata, a cat, then you're gonna love it. And he's uh, the cutest and super shy because uh, he's just he turned at the start of the series, uh, into a Nekomata after being super old before passing away, he turned into the yokai, so now he gets a second chance at, at life, and he's uh, a newly created yokai, so he's learning the uh, how they live with uh, the humans in this town and all that stuff. So you through him, you meet the other characters. I still haven't watched it, but I really wanted to. Um, when I told Zach that I was like, this will be another one we'll watch this season. He goes, a cat! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. I gotta I gotta show off uh, the cat. Hold on. Buccio. He's a cute looking no. cat. Okay, son. How can you say no to... Is there no, is there no weird fan art? Okay, there's no weird fan art. <laughs> you never know with people. Um... Damn it. Hold on. I forgot I had this on. Hey, insecttrades.com. <laughs> nope. Here we go. Yeah. How can you say no to this face? <laughs> that, that He is my Luffy right now. No, I was going to no. say he's the king of the pirates. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at that. So his name is Buccio, and he is a very shy, timid uh, cat. And now that he's a Nekomata, he's got the split two tail and he can talk, communicate with people. And he's learning 
how to do Necromanta stuff like shape shifting and 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 all that. Uh, so the first episode, we see him trying to master that, and his teacher is a Kitsune Fox. Uh, she is appearing almost always as a adult uh, female, and is trying to teach Buccio how to do that the shape shifting stuff. Look at that! He 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 holds the the sippy cups. I I love it. This is adorable. Sorry, chat. I'm deviating the the show. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be my new Nyanko Sensei. <laughs> oh heck yeah! And here's the visual key for the show right there, which is very similar to the cover of the manga. This one. So I hope this manga gets published in English. I would very much like to own it. If not, uh, I'm fine with watching the show. This is going to be my new profile picture. I need to grab this after we're done. <laughs> oh, there was one image I wanted to show. What was it? Oh, here. In the note. Here, here's the, here he is with the, the two tails. Anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so tonight... Uh, we got two news items that I think uh, they're going to be a little uh, fun uh, to go over. Let me pull that up again. Recently, it was announced, I think it was two days ago or three days ago, the 48th annual Kodansha Manga Award nominees were announced. Now, uh, they nominated 15 titles in three categories. And uh, Kodansha will announce the winner for each category on May 14th. So we can go over that. Uh, the categories are Best Shonen Manga, Best Shoujo Manga, and Best General Manga, which is odd. Might as well keep going and say, like, say Gen it. Then. General Manga? General Manga. <laughs> 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 sir, yes, sir. General Manga? <laughs> So we're going to go to our friends at Anime News Network, friends of the show. Joanna, thank you so much for writing this. Appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. You're going to leech off the article for a couple minutes. Uh, all right. So the for best shonen manga, the nominees are uh, The Fragrant Flower Blooms with Dignity, which was also nominated last year by Saka Mikami. And... Gachiakuta, uh, which was also nominated last year by K. Urana. Frieden, Beyond Journey's End, which was also nominated in 2022. Tank Chair by Manabu Yashiro, which got uh, picked up, was it last year? Last uh, fall? Yeah, it should be coming out pretty soon. Yeah. Tank so that's going to be fun. I'm excited. And Demons of the Shadow Realm from Hiromu Arakawa. Let's go. For Best Shoujo Manga, the nominees are In uh, the Clear yeah. Moonlit Dusk, which was also nominated in 2022 and 2023 by Mika Yamamori. Peak. Pika Yamamori. <laughs> <laughs> and... I see your face turned away by Rumi Ichinoe. It's fucking on. Let's go. <laughs> 1v1 me right now. Okay, also yeah. nominated Firefly Wedding by Oreko Tachibana. 1v2 me right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also nominated A Sign of Affection by Su Morishita. Also I, nominated back uh, 2022 and 2023. I want this series and In the Clear Moon, Moonlight Dusk to either just win or them to give up on nominating it because I'm tired of seeing them literally every single year and they never win because they're not going to win this year either. It's going to go to Firefly Wedding. What is Firefly Wedding about? Um, oh, so Kamaki has this one, but it's about this girl who's got like a heart disease and she wants to um, basically because she's going to die at some point, she doesn't know when she wants to do right by her dad and get married to like a good suitor because then she can, 
at least bring her family some sort of like uh, what's the word Rep reparability that's not the word uh, but, but I, I think i know what you mean yeah yeah like some sort of uh, like good will <laughs> yeah, yeah um so but one day she gets kidnapped by a bunch of dudes and they like start to threaten her and they're going to sell her off but then one of the guys uh takes a liking to her kills everyone oh god runs off with her and he's an assassin who basically is like oh if you'll marry me then we can I'll help you out. So she tries to kind of deceive him by being like, yeah, let's get married. I love you. And then just kind of their uh, journey trying to get her back home while also becoming more into each other, actually, and not just <laughs> faking it. It's okay. really good. Thanks. Really good drama. And the art's good, too, I'd imagine. Yeah. Art's phenomenal. Nice. Uh, for now, for the category that everybody's been waiting for, best general manga. General manga. <laughs> Oshinoko, which was nominated in 2022. Now it's back again for some reason. So why why are these general? This I don't think this should be a thing, but okay. It's probably, it, for the most part, it's because they're like, oh, these are the adult manga. But it's really, these are the seinen manga. Mm -hmm. Because they just put the Jose manga in the shoujo section half the time. So, Also nominated, the Darwin Incident. Which was also nominated. I get the feeling they didn't want, they didn't uh, think about this too much and just pick stuff from last year and just like, yeah, let's do it again. Whatever. Yeah, these are, this is boring. Darwin <laughs> Incident. And Chi Chikawa. Totally that's, random, but okay. That's funny. I think that's a kid series. Nagatan. Oh, I gotta read this crap. Nagatan to Auto Ichika no Ryoricho. Butcher that by Yuki Isoya. And oh. Bokyo Taro from Yoshihiro Yamada. Oh, and Metalist. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. And medalist. And medalist, which was also nominated. Uh, so, yeah, out of the 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty lazy. <laughs> eight out of the 15 are coming back from last year. That's like if I do a, a Oscars and I bring back the films from last year and nominate them again. <laughs> okay. But I, I guess it's interesting, you know. Obviously, it's centered around uh, Quidantia, so you're not going to see everything out there. But which ones do you think will win from uh, Shonen category? It's either going to be Free Run or Fragr Fragrant Flower. Yeah. It's going to be One Piece. I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to say it's uh, this because it's writing off the hype of the show and all that. Uh, Frieden. Yeah. And yes, I say Frieden because that's how they say it in the show. They, they pronounce it that way. Frieden. I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but and from Shoujo, which one do you think will win? I think it's going to be Firefly Wedding, but um, I see your face turned away. It has a good chance, too, honestly. Nice. But Firefly Wedding is the one that's selling the best. So, Best general manga. General manga. I want this thing to win just for the hell of it. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> so I looked it up, and it is insane in manga. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what that thing's deal is, but it scares me now. <laughs> Chikawa. Chikawa, let's see. Do we have a synopsis for this? Uh, let's Google this live, I guess. Uh, it's an online series on Twitter. Oh. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Uh, it has an anime. What? I did not see 38 episodes. 
Yeah. Oh my god. They must be like micro shorts or something. Yeah, they're like five minutes. I've oh, seen it on a... Crunchyroll, I think. Six. Wow. Wow. Frank. Interesting. And Doga Kobo did it? I like Doga Kobo. They're a good studio. Cool, cool. All right. Good for good for uh Chikawa. I hope it wins. I don't know these series. I know Metalus. Just volume one came out recently, but I don't know. I, I hate Darwin Incident. Sorry. I can't stand that monkey. I probably shouldn't be saying that, but I am. He's going to uh, look at you. Stupid. Just stupid. don't just don't say it to to what's his name? Um, fuck. My joke fell flat because I forgot uh, the, the dude's name. Uh, which, which dude? Caesar from Planet of the Apes? Uh, the actor, the not not of Caesar, but the the human actor, Andy Serkis. No, the human actor playing the human character. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, James Franco in, right, yes. in the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell James Franco that he's ugly, or else he'll get mad at you. <laughs> James Franco oh. eats his monkeys. All right, so that that's it. Uh, it's like I said at the beginning, we're gonna find out on May fourteenth. We're still around by May fourteenth. We'll come back and celebrate the winners. Uh, the other news article that I wanted to mention is that my anime list made the you should read this manga, uh, two thousand twenty four edition, collab with everybody except me, and made a list. You can see here. How do I? I don't want to. Damn it! I can't. I want to scroll this to this part, not this. Whatever. Uh, is a yearly manga discovery list created for uh, international fan. We've curated licensed manga titles from passionate readers, and my anime my anime list members, bookstore employees, and more, and asked them to nominate which manga you need to read now. Finalists are divided into the main category and three subcategories. 20 titles each should be anime, best for beginners, and unique art story. Every manga included is officially available outside of Japan in at least one language with one or more volumes published in 2023. So let's see what uh, they picked. This is the first part, right? Which is uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> which had Atelier is on the list. You guys can tell me if this is accurate, or uh, you should be reading. Yeah, I haven't read it. Yeah, you should. I read, read. I read one the first volume, and I thought it was cute. Uh, I, I dug it. You, but, you should. I, I, I would say yes. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of these hats, though. <laughs> it's the whole point of the series. I don't which like which it. hat. <laughs> no, I, I like I like the the oversized witch hats. The other ones, not this. Which so weird. You don't like the cones? No. It's like some weird, I don't know. Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You, published by Square Enix. Super no ura de Yanni Sufutari. Super, <laughs> super no ura. <laughs> Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Um, <laughs> Domo da. I. I enjoyed the first volume, but I don't think you need to read it right now. It's not like high on my recommendations list, honestly. But, but should you should you read it this year? Uh, there are cooler things coming out that take priority over smoking behind the supermarket with you. I'll just say that. So I don't think I don't I don't know. I did like it, but it's not like whoa! I got to read it this year. I, I would tell people you should check this out this this year if you don't this year right now <laughs> <laughs> you don't fucking check out this series. I mean eh. you can also check the author's art or chapters on on Twitter they post a lot of the stuff on Twitter and then that gets published in the magazine and that gets published in the Tonkoban. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So, follow the creator on on Twitter. Uh, Blue period, 
volume uh, one. I have not read this. I I, I thought you read Blue Period. Me? No, I, I haven't checked it out. Um, I I think that after my initial criticism of just the fact that he wait, this is the painting one, not the okay. I, I was confusing it with the soccer. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. No, I haven't read it. You still okay? So you still haven't read it. The no, no, my initial yet. criticism of him like just randomly getting into art in like high school and being like, I don't know, there's something about that. Like people who are in like go to college for art usually have spent like most of their lives, no, like doodling and working their way up to it and know something about art. But the fact that like they, they do the whole, like um, they, they make the, the character a self insert for the, or like a reader insert by having him completely know nothing about art it didn't work for me at the beginning. And then after I got past that and there's more like him in school and him dealing with, uh, you know, professors and critiques and stuff, it reminded me a lot about when I was in school and I really like the series at this point. So I, I would, I would recommend it, but for a specific group of people, I think. Cool. I only watched the anime, so can't say. Well, you suck. Oh my God. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to go. <laughs> this is not the street for me. I got bounced. <laughs> uh, blue period. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're doing this. Uh, gotcha, Kuta. Coming back again for another discussion here. Uh, right. I, I. I don't. I have not read this. If you like Battle Angel Alita and, and or Tsukimachi, uh, yeah. And the homie worked on what? What was it? Fire Force or My Hero yeah, Academia or something? Assistant, assistant on Fire Force, Fire which Force, like you can cool. kind of see in the artwork, but like it's not, it, it's not like detrimental. But yeah, yeah if, if you're a fan of 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 those types of things, Battle Angel and and stuff, then definitely check it out. Oh, spoilers! <laughs> the next one is the summer Hikaru died. Hikaru oh, Shinda Natsu. Yeah, you should read it. Yes. Hikaru got Shinda Natsu, baby. Hey. <laughs> uh, I have not read this yet. I'm a fake manga fan. Sorry, guys. If you like cosmic horror and slow building, slow burning horror stories, then yes. Oh, it's cosmic? Yeah, my Shoot. dude. Oh, damn it. All right. It's, it's a favorite. very slow burning cosmic horror. Oh, okay. All right. Need to get this done. And it has no connection to Hikaru no Go, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's not the... No, wait, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say it's not the Hikaru that died in that. And I was like, wait, <laughs> he's not the one that died, I don't think. Uh, next up. The pacing is perfect. It's a slow burn, so I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, a perfect slow pace. Okay. Kono Oto Tomare. Oh, I, I saw the anime for this. This is the, the thing, the string instrument. Okay. I saw the anime. It's it's great. It's lovely and dramatic and, and pretty. And, and uh, it benefits from sound because when they play the instrument, you hear it and it's all like super pretty. I do recommend this. I had not read the manga, but whatever. <laughs> it's close enough. Um, I read the manga last year for my 16 TBR series. I enjoyed it for the most part. I wouldn't say it's like, I wouldn't say you need to read it right now. It's pretty standard sports series fare, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it gets a lot better as it goes on. I feel mm -hmm. like the start of it's kind of weak, but it does get a lot better. So I would say, like, read it eventually, but you don't have to get around to it, like, immediately. It's still ongoing, so. Oh, this is still ongoing? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. How many times are they going to play the damn instrument? <laughs> <laughs> They're still in the the arc of, like, getting to nationals or whatever it is. I like that regardless of what the sport is, it will always, uh, most of them will always be, we got to go to nationals. That's the whole buildup for that. Uh, but yeah, interesting. 
Like they've only they've only got one year of school behind them. <laughs> So wow. they start out first and second year, and now they're second and third year, and that's where they are in the series. Okay. Next up is Hira Yasumi, I'll be able to which is coming out next, next month from Biz. Yeah. Read it. Read it. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna read it. We're gonna pick it up. I haven't read it, but I do want to. I do plan on picking up the first volume. I'm gonna make a a. I'm going to make a side bet right here about Ooh. so bef before uh Hiroyasumi was um licensed by Viz um Denpa got the license for another Keigo Shinzo like his like short story book and uh Ed at Denpa was really excited about that I'm willing to bet when because he was like oh we you know we're going to be the first people to bring keigo shinzo to english-speaking audiences and then eventually he's like well we probably won't be the first one to because Dempa's slow uh we won't be the first to actually bring his work to english-speaking audiences but we were the first to like announce something i'm willing to bet that you will see uh denpa or ed on his private account tweeting about the release of Hiroyasumi, if it's on Ed, on if it's on Ed's private account, it's going to be something backhanded. Ooh, okay. Looking forward to that. So uh, I'm, I'm just. I thought you were leading that all up to be like, and we're probably going to get in the anime. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's gonna. I'm, I'm wait. I'm like, he's gonna say some backhanded comment about oh, like God. people buying that, and he's gonna say something like. I hope everyone's this excited when when our release comes out or something like that. Okay, that's okay. what I'm willing to bet is going to happen. If Tell you see that, that remind, remind us. Remind us if you see that. Um. So yeah, this comes out the first week I think of May or first two. It's one of the first two weeks of May. So not, and we don't have to wait too long. No, it's pretty soon around the corner. Uh, next up is. Don't call it mystery from Yumi Tamura. Read it, read it, read it. We've all read it here. <laughs> some more some more than others. Uh, but uh, we all love it. And uh, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Check it out. It's great. Fantastic. Uh, 521 for Hiroyasumi. So towards the end of the, the, the latter half of, of next month. What's that? We're past what that. Today? We're on Totono. Looking <laughs> it up. Oh, no, 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 no. I screwed up. Okay, never mind. I still don't know what they yeah. want us to call it, if not mystery. Uh, Don't call it... Um, don't call it a comeback. I don't know. I got nothing. Okay, so this is a no-brainer. Check it out. Uh, the four volumes, right? Uh, There's six right now. Well, no, the, but, but, the Omnibus, yeah. yeah so just... yeah. Omnibus three, four. Then, we got three and another one coming out this yeah. uh, this month. Yeah, later. Cool. This month. All right. Next up. Oh my God, this thing again. <laughs> Medalist <laughs> from Sudo Uh This is a sports manga about uh, competitive ice skating, something that uh, we are all very knowledgeable of. Uh, but uh, it won awards and it got nominated for awards and it got it has an anime coming up and the volume one came out uh, last month from uh, Kodansha. So I think you'll like it. Anybody read volume one? I want to. I haven't it? yet, but I was uh, slightly turned away from reading it because oh. of the very dumb reason that as I was chronicling my reading. Um, someone got pissed that I did not yet read it. <laughs> and they were like, you should have dropped everything and done medalist first. And I was like, just for that, I'm going to wait and read that absolutely last. Hell you yeah. are just like me for real. Someone did that when I was, I hadn't read a uh, Kono Oto Tamara yet. And so I was like, I don't want to read it now. <laughs> and it ended up being like the last thing I read. Yeah, just drop it down to the, like, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I forget what, like my mom always asked me about something and, oh, my mom asking me like, when are you going to cut your hair? And I was like, the last time she asked me, I said, mom, every time you ask me, I have a calendar and yeah. I have, I mark an X in the calendar and I move it down by another week. 
Every nice. time you ask me, I move the date that I want to cut my hair down by another week. So at this point, it's not going to be for another 10 years. <laughs> Got him. Uh, nice. She hasn't asked me since. Uh, yeah. So medalist, uh, go check it out and uh, dance. I don't know. Do what they do on the thing. Not, not going to check it out. Next Never up. Check it out. Ne no. Ripping it in half. <laughs> Eat that it. would be amazing if you did that. I just like, like an apple phone book that shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'd be scared, honestly. Like that rage. Where, where was that? I would be so pissed if I actually like accidentally ripped the book in half like that. Like, damn it! <laughs> Making the joke and then accidentally just burnt. Like, oh, god damn it! I have to order another one. I'd be impressed though. <laughs> Impressive for like nobody to see. Yeah. Next one on the list is uh oof, how do i uh, oh there's a translation thank you magus of the library i'm not going to try to pronounce the the original name tosho kan no daima jutsu shu shi you, you want some sushi, sushi? that's all i got from that <laughs> daima jutsu shi yeah uh so i've heard of this one have not checked it out but i do know of this it actually some folk recommended to it to me on one of my videos but because uh, I liked uh, what's the isekai that I like? Oh, uh, not Ancient Magus Bride. Um, that's not an isekai. What is it? Uh, so the girl that gets reincarnated as a younger girl. Is it the bookstore one? Yes, that one. Um, oh, I know oh which one it is, but I can't think of the name. Uh, hold on. Now I can't get it, that out of my head. Um, Library isekai manga. Library isekai manga. Ascendance of a bookworm. There we go. Oh, that one. Okay. Because I like that one so much. Somebody recommended Magus of the Library to me. And because uh, I'm so diligent with that, I completely forgot to check it out. But I just remembered. So thank you. Whoever you were. We have two uh, friends. Sorts of things in here. Uh, Ryan, I have two friends who are reading this right now and really like it. Which what, one? What? Uh, Fatima, Adele, and I think Cass started reading it too. Magus of the Library. Yeah. Toshokan no Daima Jutsushi. Sushi. Cool, cool. Kindergarten Wars or Yochian Wars. I have not started reading this because it's digital only at the moment. Uh, this is a no-brainer to get announced in on uh, on one of those licensing days that we all love. So soon. I keep talking about it, but they never they never license it, so I'm surprised it hasn't right. yet. Right, 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 right. Uh, do they murder kids in this? Hopefully. Because the, that's the only the, reason I'm gonna read it. <laughs> the, kids are, the kids are so excited, and she's so like happy there with the gun, like trigger happy. She's blushing and all. So, are they actually fighting a war in kindergarten? Interesting. Also, oh, this thing uh, the fragrant flower blooms with dignity, which we just talked about. Uh, nominated for best uh, sh uh, shonen manga from Kodansha and their award show. Uh, so this is interesting. I've not read that either. The romance is very fluffy, but every character has great depth to them. Even the Romeo and Juliet setting that... Da, 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 da. Cool. If you love strong friendships, fluffy romance, and finding your own place, this manga is for you. Okay. In the clear moonlit dusk. Let's go. <laughs> also nominated or wait a minute not nominated <laughs> recommended my bad also, also nominated though <laughs> yeah uh orb on the movements of the earth i have read this one finally something i've read i, I read uh, that i do i do recommend it I, I love the first volume i did too i got the second one here haven't read it yet but i'd like the first one quite a bit yeah do you like this one a lot it's very good 
if if Assassin's Creed was a manga without the killing, it would be orb on the movements of the earth. If Jonathan Hickman's shield was or a shield, manga yeah. without being connected to the MCU or the MCU or the, the, or the Marvel. I want to end this love game is also on this list. From... First volume was okay. See, so... I told you. I told you. What did you tell me? That it was just like a whatever series. It, it felt like it was just trying to ride off the coattails of Kaguya. Like a, uh, yeah. Okay. Great value Kaguya. But maybe it gets better. I don't know. Well, I only read the first volume, too, like, before they announced it for physical, so. it. I mean, it's it's inoffensive um, yeah. rom-com. That's, yeah. it, it just, that's, that's all it is. If you just want some inoffensive rom-com to, to read in your spare time, this is there for you. But other than that, it's like, it's not, I don't know. I'm surprised that, that anyone would, like, go out of their way to recommend it. Aishitaru game wo owara setai. Yeah, same. That. Sorry. God bless you. Somebody's going to uh, watch this stream and they're not going to sponsor any of us because <laughs> of my pronunciations of these things. I apologize. I don't know. I got a lot of shit too. So I think we're in the same boat, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, a very interesting take on a romance manga. Okay. If you say so, uh, homie. Cool. Zachary. Zachary. <laughs> Zachary. <laughs> Unless it Suffering gets back to me after the first volume. Cool. Playful. What did they say about uh, Zorba Fist and Shinshin Shrine? Like, no other husband. Okay. And simple, moderately. Okay. Cool. Simple and clean. Also, the case study of Vanitas. Vanitas no Carte. Vanitas no carte. You want some Vanitas no carte on that uh, burrito? Yes, sir. <laughs> Vanitas a la carte. <laughs> I've only seen the anime for this one, and I was I saw a bit of the anime, fun. and and it was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, agree. I need to read it. I have it all because Zach is collecting it. I just haven't read it yet. Ooh. I feel like I'm a hater or not a, f a fake fan because it's a vampire manga and I'm not checking it out. Because we all <laughs> know you. the authority in mermaids and vampires in this household. All right. And and mermaid and vampires. Are. Yeah. Oh, they should make one about like either a vampire falls in love with a mermaid or the mermaid clan has a deep grudge against the vampires. So they go to war with each other. So. No. <laughs> They're just jumping out of the ocean, like the shit. ocean trying to splash <laughs> water on the vampire. <laughs> I do want to. Oh, all right, side note. Hold on, I'm deviating. I apologize. Tangent here. That's how my brain works on these live streams. Next month, there is there are three, three mermaid manga coming out at the same time, or close to each other. I don't know if my wallet is going to handle it. Do I need <laughs> three more mermaid manga in my collection? You mm -hmm. got to get them. You have to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off for the chat. If you guys don't know, uh, dude. Yeah, I think that's what you need posters of is mermaids. <laughs> okay. That you yeah. Have Pretty like well. Lisa Frank style mermaid poster. <laughs> uh, next up. Oh, look at that. Firefly Wedding. Get the, get the, no, mermaid, uh, get the classic Little Mermaid movie poster, the one that still has like the penis drawn on the it. The penis? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Next Imagine with the hashtag. Gotta have my mermaid manga. Hell yeah. yeah the pops. <laughs> Japanese listener here. Geo butchered their language. LOL. No sponsorship. Damn it. I mean, nobody sponsors me. Now they're not going to sponsor anybody. So you're welcome. Uh, let's see. Demons of the Shadow Realm from Hiromu Arakawa. Cool. If, if you're a fan of other Arakawa works, you will enjoy this one. <laughs> <laughs> Which means most people will enjoy it. I, I think our son is gay. I didn't I did not realize that series ended this month. Volume five oh. was the last one. 
I thought it had ended a while ago. Yeah. Interesting. I guess that they know either they no longer think that their son is gay or they know that they <laughs> is gay. Now that they know, they can end the series. I think our son is gay. Uchi no musuku wa tabun gay. Tabun gay. It's right there. I'm gonna, is I there mean, not a word for, for gay in Japanese? Uh, I don't know. May, probably not. Uchi no musuku wa tabun gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BRB. Uh, My cat's doing something. Uh oh. Heavenly Delusion. Now, I'm this one I have it. checked out. I do recommend a lot. Uh, it's a slow Denpa release, so we, we, we only have six volumes out since like forever. It, is there much more available, though? I think so. Volume 7 is supposed to be coming soon from Denpa. But the anime, the anime, the anime is is a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's like Promise Neverland, but better, mm-hmm. in my opinion. There are yeah, there are ten volumes in Japan, so they, they could speed it up a little bit. But Ten Goku Daimakyo, I can say that one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Next, th- these are the selections for should be anime. Oh, I can talk about this because I'm the anime dude. I that came out wrong. Sorry, I don't want to be so pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> the anime dude, uh, Sakamoto Days. Agreed. That yeah, one. Yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be a fun one. Of any Shonen Jump series, this is the only one I'll allow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fragrant flower blooms with dignity. Sure, I'll accept it. Uh, Chojin X. Not, I'm not interested, but okay. I for the sake. I, okay, I I never watched Tokyo Ghoul, but for the sake of not having a re- recursion of that anime, yeah. Wait for it to end. Like just <laughs> let it end. However long it takes, and and then do it, and then go for it. Yeah, because like the the series, it's such a quick read. Like, I can't imagine them getting much material per volume. So uh, like, Chojin? yeah, like it, it's just because it's it's action, like fast paced action for a lot of it, and I can't mm-hmm. imagine them. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I would not adapt it until it's done or there's just a ton of material and they they're like this is going to be 13 episode seasons non-regular like not in successive cores or whatever like they're just gonna put out 13 episodes wait uh-huh. a year or two do another 13 episodes they gotta be smart about it w says this is your sane and x-men like manga do you agree with that what Seinen Seinen X-Men like manga with the astonishing illustrations and creativity of Tokyo Ghoul's author. Fuck out of here. (laughs) (laughs) There is no because you're the expert on X-Men, so yes, and there is no like ongoing deep drop. No, no, (laughs) no. And anyone who's watching 97 right now, no, like that is that is X-Men. X Men ninety seven, the drama, the soap opera ness of that, which is what I've been like talking about on Twitter for the past, I don't know. Um, that is what the X Men is. That's why the X Men got so popular, and Chris Claremont used that formula for seventeen years, mm-hmm. making it a, a, this long ongoing soap opera where the characters just happen to also have superpowers. This is not that. It's not that whatsoever. Like I don't know where they get this person. Never read the X Men before is what I'm <laughs> telling me. I guess they just saw like people getting abilities. Yeah. And just like it's like X-Men. It's like the okay. X-Men. Sorry, so it's the X-Men. Get up. <laughs> gotcha Kuta. Uh yeah, sure, whatever. That could be yep. an anime. That that one I, I would also say um wait until there's more material. I don't know how many volumes there are right now, but it is also fast paced. Let it cook. Let it cook. Yeah. Let let it cook. Let them cook. Let them cook. Oh, hell yeah. Goku Raku guy. 
Just so uh, we can make her animated. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. That's all we want. Um, <laughs> we're all, we're all just like, put her. <laughs> another, another mommy on the screen for me. I'm super excited for the manga coming out uh, next week. Right? Yes. Yes. It is Can't available wait. on Crunchyroll right now if you want to get it. Ah, damn it. All right. Don't say that. Now I want to buy it right now. I I'm I'm I didn't I I did say it, but I didn't buy it. I just I looked because Berserk came back and so I needed to buy Berserk and I was like, oh, is there anything in stock? And I looked, there's a lot of stuff in stock already from next week's new releases, but I was like, I'll just wait because get better prices at in stock trades. Stock trades dot com. Put in, put in our our second plug in stocktrades.com where you can get better prices and better discounts on your manga than you can over at the Crunchyroll store, which is why I will, will happily get my books later than I could. Stocktrades.com. I'll do the plug in, but it's just so, you know, we're, we're going along. Anyways. Oh, no, no. Hell no. Don't <laughs> not anime. I'm not a fan of this manga whatsoever. Um, I don't know why I read so many chapters of it. Uh, Boys of this, I disagree. Leave this, this one is... in the... <laughs> the very first thing is this manga is absolutely not for everyone. <laughs> this is more X-Men than Chojin X is. Okay. Just, just no powers. Just no mutant. Like yeah. if, if they were like sh sh Boys Abyss, but they also shoot lasers out of their eyes... That would be it. <laughs> this manga is absolutely not for everyone, but for those who want a very dark and depressive story with only just the faintest hints of it'll all be okay, and this is the manga for you. The art is nice, but I don't like the, the, the plot whatsoever. It won't be okay. It kept getting edgier and darker and a lot of sexy times with questionable characters. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Kindergarten Wars. No, because then you would have uh, uh, what was it, uh, Sakamoto days, uh -huh. and uh, visually they're they're in that style. So I don't know, the two of them at the same time would be weird. I think that Sakamoto days already has such uh, like a a platform behind it that mm -hmm. if they came out around the same time, this would just get completely trampled. Yeah, Kindergarten Noir, uh, Die Dark, hell yeah, that'd be fun. Finish up oh, yeah. um, Doro Hedoro and then do Die Dark. Hell yeah. It is coming back. We are getting a season two for the anime. I am surprised and happy about that. I can't wait to listen to the music. Uh, Marriage Toxin. I think that would uh, be fun. That could work. Yeah. Just, I've only read the first volume, but it was a good first volume. And I think that it would find a good audience because it is a fun concept and a fun series. This like offers if, a fresh perspective on the romance genre. Honestly, though, unless things completely change, this might also be one that's a little too close to Sakamoto days. Hmm. Yeah. Hitman. Hitman here. Hitman over here. Uh, yeah, lot, lot, lots of Hitman. Too many Hitman, not enough Pikmin. Well, maybe yeah. if they picked Shoujo or Jose series for any of this, I would. <laughs> we would have a little bit of variety. <laughs> What is a shoujo? What is a jose? The mess of the shadow realm from Hiromu Arakawa. Okay. Somewhere there's someone screaming that they didn't pick any um, mecha series. <laughs> right. I, I won't say it. <laughs> make, the er ex blah, 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 blah. make the exorcist fall in love. Never heard of this series before. I've seen that cover before. Uh, by Fukuyama Mazuku. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Make it. I don't know. Whatever. The summer you were there. Oh, wait. I I, can't, I I haven't been reading the titles. Yomi no Tsugai. Marriage Toxin. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage Toxin. Exorcist wo Otosenai and uh, Kimito Suzuru Utakata. Uta, utakata. Utakata. There we go. I don't know. I don't know the series. What is this about? I haven't read this one yet, but I do it plan to. It's a really to. great story, but it will make you cry a lot. Me. The way it portrays depression and honestly everything else feels really realistic and it has really good character writing to follow. <clears throat> I, don't I will cry. 
I will take Geo anime any day. So whatever you say, sir, ma'am, hey. person, human being. Are we just repeating the same ones from the other list? Uh, Magus of the Library. Uh, sushi's back. Okay. Magus of the Sushi. Witch Watch. Yes, I agree with this. If that got an anime, maybe we would finally get a <laughs> <The> physical. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a fun one. I do like it. I think I turned my childhood friend into a girl. I don't know about that. Koisuru Otome no Tsukurikata. Tsukurikata. By Banjo and Kazooie. Togen Anki. This one's about like Hitman, I think, too. Or something. Or no, the uh, gangs. Only yeah, it's it's like supernatural with uh, gang warfare. After God, this one got picked up, right? By this, yeah, it did. Uh, I don't see this as an anime. <laughs> it wouldn't do well. I know some Neither people this. Would like it. There's our one Chojo! Yay! Oh no, Kemono Enpei no Arcana, the King's Beast. I do agree this one should get an anime. First of all, it sells really well. Second of all, it's just a lot of fun. And I really like the main character. And it's got cool mystery to it. But now that Apothecary Diaries is super famous, everyone else is going to be like, oh, it's just an Apothecary Diaries ripoff. I was going to ask you what misinterpretation would people have of this? And I think that probably like what what would people be saying that people that would piss you off if that happened like, uh, they would say it's an apothecary diaries ripoff because uh the main guy um um hold on open the read more back up again because i forget the guy's name prince tenyo he has long black hair and they'd be like oh it's just a jinshi ripoff <laughs> okay so this is, is this a fun one, series though is this one licensed we do have this one. Does and it it's might? connected to Dawn of the Arcana, which is by the same author, uh, their first series. There you go, everybody. Go check it out. Does it promote toxic beast kings, king beasts? It promotes it promotes wow. furries. Um, toxic furries. I thought this was going to go in a different route, this conversation. Okay. This is a good series, so I recommend it. Nice. I should not say what I was thinking. <laughs> you, you, you need to read Don the Arcana to read this? Uh, no, you don't have to. They're getting more... Well, it's spoiler, technically, but they're getting more Don of the Arcana stuff happening in the series now, but it took 12 volumes. Mm. So you're, you're fine if you want to try reading this. Nice. I don't, because it has cooties. Yankee Coon, so Hakujo Girl, if you like the Yankees, if you're a baseball fan, you can read this. This is the uh, official Yankee, New York Yankee uh, manga. It's about uh, A-Rod. Yeah, A-Rod and... Uh, J-Lo. J-Lo, yeah. You see them right here on the cover. <laughs> They're looking real different now. <laughs> uh, How do you get Yankee Coon to Love's Inside? I don't know about that. Localization, the woke <laughs> localization. Oh, and look at that. Uh, they read uh books about T'Challa, Black Panthers in this yeah. book, too. Hell um, yeah. Th this one, I would say, is another like, like I described the the love game one or whatever, the or whatever the previous one. I don't remember what the previous title was. Um, it's another inoffensive rom com, like, if it gets picked up, it's it's just going to be another like. 13 episode season rom-com that people are going to be like, yeah, it was cute. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it does something crazy, like have symbiote hair, like the animation for glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. I got some questions. There are some questions in the chat. I'll get to it in a second. Uh, oh boy. Though I am an inept villainous, <laughs> the tale of the butterfly rad body, body swap in the maiden court. Also known as Futsusuka na Akujo dewa Gosemas ga Sugu Chozo Torikaiden. 
beautiful. God, beautiful. I should be in Japan right now. I've been wanting to read this one. Um, I see it at the store a lot, but I have not yet. Uh, Homie Anonymous says that this one is a refreshing take on the genre. Instead of the common reincarnation or the time rewind setup, uh, he or she has no such advantage. Set in an ancient imperial court, mm. heroine shows up, shows us that grace and grit can be the perfect combo to turn your life around. That's what we have on the show: grace and grit. Mm. Welcome to the Grace and Grit podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, here we go. Best for beginners. This is going to be interesting. This someone is last put a piece on here. I'm going to slap them. I don't think it's on there. <laughs> done, done, done. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you want someone's first exposure to manga to just be like, if you insane. love, if you love old lady titties. <laughs> No, just don't tell them anything. Just be like, here, manga's weird. <laughs> manga's bonkers. Like, this is the best way for someone to get a general oh understanding. Oh my god. Of what you could possibly find in manga. Oh my god. Absurd, surreal, and bizarre. Dandadan takes everything that's great about shonen manga and turns it up to 11. Uh, sh uh, sure, buddy. Okay. I, I mean, I, I I don't I, I I like the manga. It's just this is a really weird choice, my guy. Especially for the first one on this list for best for beginners, it's even funnier. This is how you want people to start in this world. Okay, interesting. I wonder what the editor of this article thought about that submission. Interesting. Like it'd be funny if there was an editor's note. Like I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Blue box. Ao no hako. That's a fine beginner recommendation, honestly. I stopped reading it, uh, but what I did read, which was a couple handful of chapters, like 15 of them, I like. I, I thought it was a fun uh, romance sports series, I guess. It, again, inoffensive. You get the romance yeah. aspect, you get the sports aspect. The art's easy to follow. Like it, it, That one, if, if the person you're talking to is into um, anything included here, it's an easy recommendation, and there's not that many volumes. It's not not bad. And there's a show coming up soon. There's an anime adaptation coming up. Oh my god, no, <laughs> Oshinoko, why? If why is you, this on here? If you love weird angles of pregnant teenage girls. <laughs> and uh, uh, um, uh, what was the thing that the guy did? He was a doctor for a. Uh, Gynecologist. OBGYN. If you want OBGYNs as your protagonist in a series, we got the manga for you. Half of these people want to get people into manga, and the other half are just like <laughs> recommending random shit. Good fucking luck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. This is one of my favorites. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. This is a fun one to recommend. It's it's silly. It's goofy. Got uh, goofs and uh, goofs and gaffs. I, I I'm okay with this recommendation. It's fine. That's all I'll say. It's slimy. You get like a message. You know, the 37 year old that dies. He gets reincarnated as a slime in another world, and slowly but surely, he gets more powerful and starts building up the monster nation and and. Uh, wanting to create a utopia for all monsters to live together hand in hand, you know, world peace and, and all that stuff. Pauline Bounce, uh, they did not like uh, my uh, spiel for uh, reincarnated as a slime. Um, interesting, yeah. Uh, for once, I agree with, with this. Uh, Apothecary Diaries, Kusuriya no Hitorigoto. Have you read Apothecary Diaries? I still have not. I've, been I've only seen the show, and I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> I don't know if, well, I don't know if it's good for beginners.
Hey. Okay. All right. I gotta, uh, I gotta talk about this for a minute. Colleen's I when it comes to shonen manga, uh, I think this is a really nice romance shonen manga. There are better ones out there, yes, but this one's really good. I like the manga a lot. I've read it a bunch of times, and the anime is uh, fantastic. So, yes, I will. I will agree to this. Uh, hey, Chris Fox, yes. What starts out as, as a silly concept of an edgy boy wanting to ruin the life of a cute girl quickly evolves into the most wholesome rom-com you may have ever read. It's good. I recommend it. It's got my stamp of approval. Um, the anime ended recently, and I'm pissed off because I wanted to, to read ahead of what was animated, but Seven Seas uh, decided to publish the latest volume at the end of this month. So now, now I need to catch up with the story because uh, I already know what happens thanks to the anime. You're back. Hello. Were you mad when I talked about slime and you just bounced like that? Nope. I didn't want to see fucking blue, blo blue blocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you missed this one, Apothecary Diaries. Oh, boy. Which I don't know. I'm like 50 50 on it. I like the show. Yeah. But, eh. And then I, I was talking about this because I really like it a lot. I don't agree that it's one of the best ones of all time, but it's really good. I liked it for a shonen uh, thingy. It, it, it's it's very wholesome and, and, and fun. It may not be a good beginner series. <laughs> Like yeah. I would like even even I I love con uh, condition called love. I would not give that to someone as a beginner series unless they were like I'm looking for this kind of series. And then I'd be like, "Oh, well maybe you would like this one." But I don't know if I would mm -hmm. be like here. <laughs> Javier, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, your video about dangers in my heart is really good. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, I made a little video covering the first six or seven volumes of that series. Uh, if, if, if you guys want to check out the anime, I highly recommend it. It's on High Dive uh, because the voice acting on that one is exceptionally well done. Skip and Loafer. Uh, it's not a bad choice. I think it's I think that one's a good beginner series. Yeah. Easy to read. Cute. Skip two loafer and skip and loafer. Skip to Malu. Mirukuchan. Uh really random one. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess like, if if you're new to reading manga and you want something horror, but you also want it to be definitively manga. Sure. You want horror and comedy and etchy stuff at times? Uh, go for it. But I would recommend something completely different for horror or supernatural. You know, get some Gegege no Kitaro up in this bitch. Just saying. <laughs> in this bitch. Uh, you and I are polar opposites. Say Hantai na Kimito Boku. I'm just coming out next month. I haven't read it, so I can't say nothing. Windbreaker. This is like very <laughs> new. Sorry, the, the first <laughs> sentence of their... Which one? Here? Or it's here? not incredibly fantastic. So... Yeah. <laughs> but it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's all you want. Just oh, good that enough. is so funny. Why do all these comments sound like they hate reading? <laughs> I think they were forced to write these articles or these blurbs or whatever. You didn't have to, actually. <laughs> right. You could just you could just put the name of the thing and you didn't have to. It was optional. It's about, it's about uh, the guy who wants to be loved, but instead he wants to uh, throw hands with everybody. He wants to fight, but secretly he wants to be loved. Me. Also, I have a crush on one of the characters. I tweeted about that. I'm not ashamed to admit it. 
the the lady that runs the coffee shop. Oh, I was gonna ask if it was this guy. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he That's, is me. Awesome. That's just me. It is though. <laughs> Where's That's your me. eye patch, dude? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I saw the episode today where he shows up and says, "Oh, I am Leonardo DiCaprio." I'm like, "Oh, that's weird." That's <laughs> Randomly saying that, uh, but it, it, it's it's fine. There uh, for a delinquent beginner series, sure, why not? Yeah, let's it's let's. Not uh, incredibly fantastic. It's, it's but it's not an incredibly fantastic manga. So. A sign of affection. It's cute. I think that would be a good beginner series. It's easy to follow. So yeah, I I, I love uh, from a sign of I, I love the story, but I really enjoy uh, Chibi Yuki in that in that series. The Chibis Very, are really cute. Super adorable. Uh, Mission Yozakura Family. Mm. I don't know about that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it that I would say like it's a bad recommendation for someone to start off with, but it, it definitely would never have crossed my mind yeah. as something to recommend as someone's first. Uh, it's the anime, by the way, is airing on, on Hulu. I had no idea. I was browsing through Hulu and I'm like, oh, look at that. That's out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no promotion whatsoever. About it. I was like, what the fuck? It's getting an anime? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> Went to see Break Window, volume eight. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, for his health every day. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Given. Mm, 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 no, maybe. Mm, uh... I went through like all the stages. <laughs> <laughs> Does this have a movie? Uh, it's got an anime and a movie. Both are very good. It's a great I, series. I'm just like trying to think if it would be a good. I think I saw. A, I think I saw the anime. Is this the one where? What is this? What is this about? I forget. Uh, so <laughs> this guy is in a band, and he meets this other guy at school. Yeah. Um, and then he goes, la, 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 la. <laughs> okay. I, I think I've, I think I've seen this. I remember watching something like this, so it, it must have been given. Okay, it's pretty good. I would, okay, it's 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 a fun series, but if you're gonna go the musical route and you want to jump in on the craziness and 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 laugh out loud, I would I would watch Bochi the Rock. Before because yeah. Boji to me is top tier. I love it. Uh, the only reason I'm hesitant on it is because it's very it's it's similar to Nana to me, where it's like a lot of melodrama. Um, <laughs> it's like good and the melodrama is good, but sometimes it can just get to be too much because you really don't have time to like not have melodrama very often, like later yeah. in the series. So, yeah. but I did like it. Um, and it's over now. So, Ao Ashi Sports. Uh, watch the other one. Uh, uh, Squid Game Soccer. Um, what is it? Blue Lock. Blue Lock. Yeah, Ao Ashi number one. It's not available in. Uh, I'm saying watch, but I meant read. Sorry. It's not officially available to read, so it's not going to be as easy to give someone uh, to read it or to tell someone to pick it up. Um, and also it has 35 volumes. So there's a decent amount of material already, which to me for like a beginner person, like I would, um, I would stay away from longer stuff. Uh, Blue Lock is not that much shorter though. It's got 28 volumes. So I don't know. Um, I you think die in Blue Lock? Yes. You should I'm just joking, uh, joking, but don't, read, don't. read Shihaya Furu instead. That's the right end. <laughs> How to grill our love. That, that, this is a random ass choice. Gourmet romance size of life. It sounds fun, but this is like really obscure compared to everything else that's been highlighted here. It's like somebody said, man, we need something obscure. Uh yeah, I tell you, Futari. Whatever this one is. Due to the, his lack of confidence, 
<clears throat> year old has always struggled with romance. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, hey, let's go. Uh, Dark Gathering. Uh, yes, I do recommend it. Yeah, if you want a, a horror series, I think this is a really good uh, like shonen horror manga. It's spooky. I, the drawings for the ghosts and stuff yeah. can be pretty yeah, legit. chaotic. And I love uh, the main character. She's awesome. Uh, she loves to cook and she loves to eat. I have not read this. Good series. But I love food and I love slice of life story, so I'm pretty sure I like this. The way the teeth are drawn in that series, though, I hate it. Oh, the teeth are like so detailed. Ooh, and like, oh, it, hmm. it, I, it's, it's the only thing about that series. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm going to do this when I read it. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Doomsday with my dog. Rough, rough. I have not read it, but this seems super wholesome. Hi, I'm a witch, and my crush wants me to make a love potion. No, I've got to check this out. Comedic romance between a witch and a knight. I got caught up in a hero summons, but the other world was at peace. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, we're still going. Oh my god, let me speed run through this because I'm getting tired of this. Hold on, I'll tell you for the. I'll tell you the one that you need to stop on though. <laughs> okay, unique art and story. Uh, cool. Whatever. Ichinos have family's deadly sins. Th this one is pretty unique. Uh, the whole family has amnesia and they don't realize that they might be terrible people. So you got to read on to find out about their uh, situations. So I do. I, I do recommend this one. Uh, Uzuzumi no hate. No hate, just Uzuzumi. Okay. <laughs> Fool Night. This is coming out soon. Uh, it's about people turning into plants. It's like a uh, swamp thing, but less spooky. <laughs> is love the answer? Maybe. I need to read uh, Toge Oni. I've read uh, the first two volumes, and I really like it. That's all you need to know. Oh whoa! Oh, who may who may have who may have wrote the comment on that one? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, who may have wrote the comment on that one? Hell yeah! Let's do it. Uh, let me let me do the whole formal thing. All right, Umiga Hashiro Enroll from John Tarashin. That's the... somebody named Colleen's Manga Rex said. Story of an old woman who just lost her husband and decides to follow her dream of becoming a filmmaker. The world expands even more as she learns new things in her old age. Heartwarming manga about finding your passions even when you feel like you've lost everything. Really well done. Oh, thanks. Well written. Oh, thanks. I've read the first three chapters of this, and it's fantastic. I wholeheartedly recommend it as oh, well. Oh, good. It made me cry in the first chapter. I was like, I know. <laughs> Right. Yeah, no, it's 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 so it's bittersweet and wholesome yeah. at the same time. I I love it, and and I I wanted to check it out because John Tarashin does uh, Thistle Castle. Yeah, I'm like oh, same manga. Let's go, and I I, I hope this uh, more people check it out. Yeah, I want this in English so bad. Okay. Riley, do you have a, a blur, blur written here? No, they, they, they contacted me, but I ignored it. Damn it. You could have recommended, uh, uh, I don't know, initial D or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, so, sorry, what was that? Oh, it just got licensed. Yes, this got licensed. I was reading it last week, and the chat and I were having a lot of fun with this because... I looked at it. I'm like, okay, this is pretty wholesome. And then I start reading the description, and holy shit! <clears throat> I want to. Can I read it real quick? Uh, <clears throat> um, if I don't die here for a minute. <clears throat> <for a second. laughs> oh no! Um, um, Sorry. <clears throat> okay, it's worse than we thought. <laughs> yeah, let me read it real quick because this this is like uh, super crazy. 
Uh, the death of Sheena, uh, Totsky's uh, roommate, is casually announced at the start of class, and the day carries on as usual. In an orphanage that raises children as soldiers, death is nothing new to the residents. With their home country embroiled in a war that has dragged on for too many years and shows no signs of stopping, the institution's children are sent off to die in battle every day. In contrast to the other orphans, Sheena is deeply disturbed by the ongoing conflict and wishes it for it to end. On the night of her roommate's death, Sheena met a blood-covered girl who remained jubilant despite the condition she was in. The next day, the girl appears as a new student in her class and introduces herself as Mimi. Uh, I made the joke that this is related to Digimon. <laughs> Initially thought to be a school myth, Mimi is said to be the secret weapon of the orphanage, a girl who cannot die. Assigned as Sheena's new roommate, Mimi hopes to get along with her and get accustomed to school life. However, unsettled by Mimi's carefree attitude toward the war, Sheena struggles to accept the world they live in, all while their unusual friendship flourishes amid the bleak situation. This is insane. Every sentence, it ups the ante of something more dramatic. I need to read this. I love when a series is a romance and then you get like paragraphs like this and you're like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wish is to fall in love until you die. That, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to pick this up. This was by Yen Press, right? Right? That picked it up? What's that, what it? Yen Press, I think. Yen, or was it yet? Uh, Seven Seas? I'll look it up. I, I talked about it last week. I don't remember these things. Sorry. It is from... It's either Kodanja, Seven Seas, or Yen Press. One of those three. Because I mentioned it on last week's episode. Uh, Kodanja? Kodansha. Kodansha. Nice. Yeah, Kodansha. Cool. I will be checking it out. Uh, call the name of the night. Not my call of the night, but it's still <laughs> a cool call the name of the night. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fun one, I guess, to recommend. This one's cute. I like it. Short. Sweet, oh. actually. <laughs> Yeah. I thought we were on Best for Beginners for a second, and I was like, no, this one isn't. <laughs> uh, no, this one is unique. Uh, yes. uh, Suiraku JK to Hygiene Kyoshi. I wish I could get into this one, but it's hard to get past the uh, the the teacher coming on to the student, but otherwise it's like it like plays a really good dark comedy. Okay. Uh, how do I read this? Hire, hire, hire. You're on your own. <laughs> You're on your own. Hira is the what Tabiji no hate. Don't hate on Hira. The end of the journey. Okay, th this one. It is supernatural, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. Uh, same mangaka as Our Dreams at Dusk. If anyone has read that. Hmm. So I've been meaning to read that one. Addition to the gorgeous art, the story tackles grief and death in a delicate manner, balanced with how the characters grow to care for each other on their journey. Nice. I like that. I like the sound of that. I want to read that. I'm going to forget by the end of this stream, but I'll read it. Ten Dance. Uh, BL Drama Performing Arts. Great series. Fantastic series. Do you need to nice. do one through nine dance first? Yeah, you need to read uh, one dance, two dance, three dance, blue dance. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arata Natsume getting married. Okay, interesting. Just like Mona Lisa. This is coming out in the summer over here. I love the cover for this. Right. I saw this without knowing anything and thought it was Mona Lisa getting reincarnated <laughs> in our world. And I'm like, is this a modern isekai about Mona Lisa? But then I read, I'm like, oh, okay, no, it's not. 
The modern so modern Lisa Isakai. Modern Lisa Kai. Lisa Kai. <laughs> you guys there. want to pause it and read it? There you go. Uh, Girl Crush. Never seen this before, but I do like the art. It's cool. It's on Comic Key. I still need to read it. I have a friend who really likes it. Nice. I like that this blurb is bigger than this. <laughs> That means that this person really likes it. That's good. <clears throat> no, Yona. Translated is, or something like it. What? <laughs> this is the most random translation I've ever seen. Or something like it. No, Yona. And in English, or something like it. Uh, <clears throat> okay, cool. This sounds good, but I don't want to read it. Sorry, folks. You can pause it and read it. Gonna lose my voice here in a minute. <laughs> uh, Bless, which just came out, the first volume, uh, the fr uh, uh, two weeks ago, one week ago, whatever, one week ago. I actually picked it up. I told this story somewhere on the internet, but as I was doing my video on recommended books for the month, I looked at the art and I'm reading the description while I'm recording. I'm like, damn, I really want to read this. <laughs> so I fomoed myself mid-video into picking it up. And I did. I grabbed it. So, yeah. I do recommend that one. Plus the fact that it's makeup, the makeup world and in in that. You never see that in, in comics. So that's cool. Uh, double. Never seen this before. I've heard good things after stuff, I think. Ani Data Mono, or He Was My Brother. It's a horror book. Oh, uh, The Fox and Little Tanuki. This is a, a really sweet one. This is by Tokyo Pop, right? Mm hmm. Cute. Uh, Isho Kokai, or Suicide Notes Laid on the Table. There's a lot of suicidal books being recommended in this list. Just saying. They're so unique. Yeah. Oh my god, are we still? No, I think this is just All right, I'm uh, gonna... publishers. Sorry. I'm gonna go by... uh, blah 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 blah. There we go. Okay, so that's the list, everybody. I think they need to rework it and get some more people to not recommend weird stuff like Oshinoko for beginners. Or uh, what was the what was the one we were laughing at? Don da Don. They're great. They're fun. Uh, I'm not dissing on those stories, but they they clearly need to iron out the kinks for these uh, recommendations. I think. And they should maybe think about not putting so many shonen series, and they could just go with something else that people have recommended. Bingo. They have their own choices with this. I don't think they're going by just anything. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, if you like sci-fi, I recommend Uzusumi no Hate. Uh, thematically similar to... Uh, is it... Am I supposed to say Blame or Blam? It's Blame. it's Blam. Blame. Blam. It's supposed to be like a... Like a Blam. Um, Blam. Not a Pia for a gun. It's Blam. Or Self Guilt. And when they shoot you, they're like, I blame you. And they're like, ah, I was blamed. I blame you. They die. Seems like some sort of persona shit. Should have recommended Kingdom. Literally. You want to ruin this list even more, Jaime? I'm joking. Or maybe not. Who knows? Uh, if I were to recommend something, because clearly they did not consult me on this list, uh, Unique Art. Gegege no Kitaro. Uh, Shigeru Mizuki is the goat for a reason. Uh, that should be on there. That's all I got to say. Everything else, whatever. <laughs> what about okay. mine? What about mine, Gio? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, moving right along, because uh, that took forever. I apologize. Uh, we got two new manga that debuted recently. You can read them for free on the Manga Plus website. And I always say it. If uh, you can support it, read it uh, uh, for free, 
legally and if you do it on a week by week basis or whenever they release it uh you're not gonna have to you, you do <clears throat> uh, i can't say the thing you don't have to pay for it <laughs> and you can still continue supporting it for free that's what i want to say if you keep up with it as it's being published so the first one that got why is this in spanish uh -huh. argumento uh, well the description's not okay whatever i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, so the first one we're going to mention here is Centuria. This is a new manga by Toru Kuramori. Do you know about this creator? Nope, not by name. You've heard of or you've read his works. Toru Kuramori has been an assistant in uh, Goodbye, Eddie. Ah. Fukyo no Mizar. And Dandadan. Dan. Dan. So this manga is uh, tells the story of this kid here who is called uh, Julian. And uh, where am I? Uh, I lost the stream yard. Wait a minute. I can't see. Oh, there we are. There we go. Sorry. So we follow this kid called Julian. He is. This is like an alternate Earth. Uh, the continents are not the same. They don't specify any country or anything and he is a stowaway on this ship that is transporting slaves across the ocean so we are meant to think it's similar to uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, the transatlantic trade thing with the slaves across from africa to the americas uh but this one's a little bit different julian had a very rough upbringing and wanted to uh, go on this journey and, and get free from all of that, make a name for himself uh, uh, away from his country of origin. I believe he mentioned that his mother did not care for him or abused, uh, physically abused him, and uh, he was sold to a blacksmith. The blacksmith taught him everything he knew and would also physically abuse him or try to kill him at some point. So he had a really rough upbringing. So now he's a stowaway on this slave ship. Uh, this slave ship is carrying 100 slaves. By the way, I'm going to spoil the chapter, so don't, don't get too mad. Uh, don't dislike the video. So they go on this. Uh, he goes on the ship. There's 100 slaves. The slave traders are wanting to sail across the sea and take some shortcuts to get to their destination. So they go through this rough spot where there's like a vortex or something. There are sea monsters and all that. And you're thinking, oh, maybe this is like realistic. Uh, there's no sea monsters. They're confusing it with storms or whatever. Uh, but no, there are actual like crazy monsters in this manga. Uh, and the majority of the first chapter, you just get to meet Julian as he convinces um, or the slaves convince the their owners to let him stay and they'll share some of his food with some of their foods and, and all that uh, so Julian can can stay with them uh, not get murdered and thrown overboard so we follow these slaves and unfortunately towards the end of the first chapter we get the plot twist that the traders are going to murder these slaves because they're not very good slaves they're uh mostly women children uh, elderly people a few random uh adults that can do some type of labor work but uh he got a bad batch basically which sucks to say <laughs> um so he starts they start murdering people left and right and one of the big plot points of the series is that julian uh, befriends this young woman who is pregnant and she also had a bad um, a bad situation because she'd lost her previous son but she's still she's pregnant so she wants to safely deliver this kid and um, this uh, baby and Julian befriends her and she kind of takes him on like a surrogate mother I guess so when all the killing happens, he's protecting her and all that. And apparently, from what I took of it, 
all the mass killings that was happening in this book sort of calls forth this kraken like beast and the kraken makes a deal or an, or makes an offer sorry with julian and the young lady and the sponsors offering like unlimited power and knowledge i guess in return it demands a sacrifice of a person uh, willing to, you know, pay the ultimate price, and and the other one would get this unlimited power or whatever. Spoilers: girl doesn't make it. Julian now has this uh, seemingly immortality uh, to him, and the strength of the one hundred sacrificed slaves. So he uh, he's going to go on this epic journey, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to more chapters. It's uh, interesting, fun. I really enjoyed the art. It's different for a dark fantasy saga to adapt things from real life of uh, a nasty period in, in, in human history. Pretty interesting. And, of course, mixing it with supernatural elements and monsters and all that, I think it's going to be worth everybody's time. Hopefully doesn't get canceled i think it has potential to go the long route and and uh be a good uh dark story so it's berserk uh, a lot of people are comparing it in that of the tragic upbringing and the uh, creatures and horror and monsters and all that stuff so yeah it's inspired by that some people also mentioned vinland saga simply because of the detailed art and the fact that it's historical in nature. But I don't know. It takes a little bit of, of that from uh, from uh, from other manga as well. Here's some of the panels for the art uh, so you can check out. Also, this, this, uh, this made me laugh. A new star rises in the manga industry. The first series we've been waiting for. Toru Kudamori's. Centuria. So here's some of that art. It probably could have explained the plot a little bit better, but just from what I remember reading uh, this from this first chapter. Here's some of the slaves. In real life, they would have not have been as... Uh, happy as these guys are <laughs> so yeah let me show you the monsters and stuff so julian does not know affection from other people so this meeting right here is go obviously going to impact him for the rest of his life and um oh i forgot to mention the sacrifice is that she's going to offer herself up for the to the monster but she uh gets her uh baby out and um gives it to julian so that the baby can live so that was pretty tragic spoilers uh let me show you real quick the uh bad guys over here it can get pretty brutal too uh some of the scenes here are pretty uh rough you're not used to the, the macabre nature of this whole thing. Uh, yeah, there you go. Homie got stabbed. This guy, obviously, he's a bad guy because he has the funky mustache. And this sort of killing awakens the monster, which should be here. There we go. And I like how when the monster shows up, you no longer see the night sky and it just becomes like super eerie and here it is yeah there you go so yeah uh, i do recommend it if you guys want to check it out on manga plus you can read it for free the other one that i read is ghost fixers which is really fun I do recommend this one as well this is by yasuki tanaka if you don't know who that is is the same creator that did summertime rendering this is uh his new series 
And this one is a supernatural action comedy series. In this one, we're following this town that had this strange phenomena happen where crazy stuff started uh, falling from the sky. And one of them, one of those things happened to be a uh, ghost. So the town is sort of haunted and the ghost can bend stuff to their will and ignore the laws of physics and all that stuff and do crazy stuff. So if you uh, think of like the weirdness of something like Don to Don, but uh, a little bit more grounded and uh, in, in its action and, and stuff. So these characters here, which I'm blanking on their names right now. I think the guy was uh, Hifumi and the girl was Mocha or something like that. They are part of the police force that they created to deal with the ghost phenomena. And the first chapter is about them meeting for the first time by accident. They're riding this elevator and then there's this creepy young girl. Turns out she's a ghost. And uh, the whole mission in that first chapter is them trapped inside the stomach of a ghost. And they're trying to not get digested. <clears throat> so it gets pretty crazy and uh, a fun dynamic between the two characters because they don't know that they work for the agency. So they're just like, who is this random person? By the end of it, they're going to team up. And yes, she does have a gun because at one point uh, she figures the best way to kill something from the inside is to just shoot it and damage it. So she starts <laughs> uh, uh, firing her uh, machine gun and it's a lot of fun. It's very poppy and like uh energetic so if you like that type of series i think you'll be right at home with uh ghost fixers let me show you some of the art also the guy uh for the majority of the chapter really needs to go uh poop which i thought was funny and he's trying to fight off this ghost while also looking for a bathroom ibs me and him for real so I like I love the colors for this, and these characters have huge eyeballs. By the way, here you see some of the ghosts. Also, there's this whole explanation about this sword, which happens to be the weapon that this guy uses, and I'm not gonna get into it because it's it's one of those things that happen in anime and manga where they go hard on explaining the the techniques and stuff and none of it really matters at the end you just got to say like oh it's a super powered weapon whatever i don't need to know the whole process be behind this sword right here the cut all blade it, essentially this blade was a toy it's a plastic sword but it's it got affected by the phenomena so uh i think the whole thing was when you draw it once and you decide to cut something, it will cut that thing on its path. And when you put it back on its sheath, it becomes the plastic toy again. But like for that brief second, it's like super powered katana, whatever. It's it's nonsense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so here's some of that, the uh, characters and all that. Here's a little girl that I said was a ghost. Spoilers for the first chapter. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do think this has a lot of potential as well and could go a long way. And, uh, yeah, homie here is trying to uh, hold it in because they're stuck in an elevator and he has to go poop. That is the worst thing that can happen to you, especially with uh, other people around. I would probably find the escape hatch on the top. Just and, off the side. Yeah, poop down the shaft. I poop down the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me show you some of the gun shooting scenes, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, homie, yeah, yeah, homie's constant. Uh, I mean, he's got to go. You know, I, can, I I feel you, brother. You know, when you got to go, you got to go. Uh, where's the scene where she's shooting the machine gun? Some creepy stuff happens there. You can read it to find out. Oh, uh, ghost fixers. Yeah, that's 
not just the title of the manga, but also the occupation by the Correction Bureau. It's my occupation as well. So she's the ghost. She's trapped them in there. And uh, dinner should behave itself and stay on the table where it was put and eat them. See, and they start melting because of because they're inside the ghost's stomach. That's pretty creepy. Because of the acid and stuff. Hey, there it is. There we go. Uh, there's the gun. You don't stand a chance against me. She pulled it from her thing. Uh, this is it. The walls are bleeding. It seems we really are in its body. You see, when you find yourself eaten by a monster, you just need to wreak havoc. Wreak havoc, sorry. In its stomach. So. I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I think uh, you will all like it. Oh, and he does find the toilet. <laughs> Yay. I thought it was funny that he lied and mentioned that he really need needed to pee. But then we find out it's he, he was actually pooping his pants. So, anyway, that's that. First impressions, dug them. You know, I'm not typically one to go like, "Oh, this sucked because of this." Blah, blah, blah. I'm a positive reader, so uh, I do recommend these two books, Ghost Fixers and uh, Centuria. Once again, go to Manga Plus; you can read them for free. This one has uh, three chapters already, and this one only has one. So there you go. Whew. All righty. Um, so let me remind you, since we're uh, about to close this down, the show is brought to you by the fine folks at InStockTrades.com. Uh, you get your omnibus, trade paperbacks, hardcovers, and very uh, importantly, manga. For great discounted prices, 42 to 50% off at times. Uh, free shipping in the U.S. at 50 bucks or more. Loyalty discount adds an extra 2% to your orders if you make, an, make it on a week-by-week -week basis. Great packaging, wonderful customer service, only when you visit our sponsor, InStockTrades.com. And uh, last but not least, we said it throughout the show. I, I highlighted the uh, banner here. We're doing the gift card giveaway. So you have one minute left to enter this whole thing to see if you can win. So very quickly, if you haven't done so already, write in the chat, uh, hashtag InStockTrades for a shot at winning a $50 gift card courtesy of InStockTrades.com. I'm going to do that now. Go, go, go. Let's see. Let's share my screen. Let's do the giveaway. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Okay, so we have a total of 18 entries. Can we get two more? So we can round it out at 20. Uh, can we get two more? That's all I'm asking. Colleen, where can people find you on the internet when you're not here with us? You can find me on X. Colleen's Manga Rex on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, last second decision was made today. I am putting out my annual uh, shoujo anime video this Saturday. Um, it's a big, it's a big boy because we got a lot of shoujo this year. So uh, nice. look forward to it. And then you can also find me on Twitter at Colleen's Manga. Perfect. Insufferable Omnibus Collector, where uh, you're not here with us. Where can people find you? YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch at the Omnibus Collector, and Twitter at Omni Collector. Nice, nice, nice. I should have uh, a, my final single one more book that I got from last month should be arriving like today or, or sorry tomorrow or saturday and then i'll be able to do my uh my march manga haul nice there you go all righty we're, we're we're good to go we got 21 entries so good luck everybody no mas please do not type anymore in the chat uh congrats to the winner and uh let's do this thing we're gonna draw a winner in three 
two, one, let's go. There we go. Look at that good boy. Oh, he's so happy with his jazz hat on. What a good boy. Congratulations. I hope you're still in the chat. Uh, congrats for winning the $50 gift card uh, from In Stock Trades. What you have to do now, you're going to write to our email, omnibroslive at gmail.com. You're going to write the uh, your, your real name and the email that you use to log in to in stock trades. I will pass this info along. So towards the end of the month, I think it should be towards the end of the month. Uh, uh, we will get you that gift card because that uh, you, you're going to have to wait just a little bit, but you'll get it. Don't worry. So spud boy, are you in the chat? Hey, look at that. Sick. <laughs> William Lee, you almost had it. Almost. I saw that. Yeah. And I love everybody saying congratulations. I love to see that. It's great. Here's Bob Fisher. Bob won uh, uh, two months ago. Gift card. Congrats. Congrats. Make sure to email them. Yes, we do not want a repeat of last month. That's why we're doing it now. Because we want to... Uh, we want you to actually get the gift card. The previous winner did not contact us, and unfortunately, we can't keep waiting. It was like three weeks now and nothing. So, no. So, uh, once again, uh, Spud Boy, thank you so much. And everybody else, uh, do not fret, because we have another gift card soon for the month of April. So, we get another shot before the month ends. Uh, and uh, and even if you don't win on the second try this month, you can try again next month. That's the beauty of it, thanks to our uh, wonderful sponsor, In Stock Trades. So thank you all that participated, and and uh, I hope uh, you had fun, even if you didn't win. It's the journey, right? Not the destination. I don't know. The, the gift card was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go spud boy thank you so much um for uh participating and everybody else yeah. that's it uh you can find my channel i didn't plug my nonsense uh manga geekdom appreciate it if you subscribed and watch a video or two i talk about all the manga that i'm reading I do reading vlogs and hauls and previews and a bunch of other random nonsense uh, so there you go and I do have a Discord. Where's the Discord link? There we go. Hey, look at that. You can join my Discord and we can chat about movies and toys and games and anime and manga and all that fun stuff. Um, there was one question that I think is worth, not that other people's questions aren't worth answering, but a lot of the questions were just like random things about some of the books that didn't require an answer. But, and since I just saw that Next Imaginot commented, I know he's still here. But earlier, oh, oh, I know what you mean. Hold on, let me grab it. Here, I got it. Go, oh, okay, do it. Do it. <laughs> I forgot you had the power too. My bad. I've got the power. Okay, so dang, this is dang. worth answering. Um, <clears throat> because I did just have a situation happen with an order from Crunchyroll last month, so I can. So, okay, first up, number one, does Crunchyroll have a good track record of sending its books in good shape? Everything is going to be like your mileage may vary but crunchyroll is just it's the same warehouse and the same staff using the same tools and the same packaging and the same stock as it was when it was right stuff yeah. for any of the books and the anime all the stuff that you would have bought off of right stuff it's the exact same it's coming from the same place if you order like clothing it comes from a different warehouse. So if you were to order like a, 
a sweater or a hat at the same time as you ordered books, they would be probably shipped separately in my experience. So that said, if you used to order from Right Stuff, whatever your experience was then, you can expect the same type of experience. My experience has always been solid um, with Right Stuff. I've had a couple items that came in a little bit damaged, but never too much from that I wanted to like get a replacement. Um, that said, how are they with returns and replacements of damaged merch? Like I said, it's never had enough for me that I required a replacement, but the situation that I did just have, I had an order get lost in transit. It was reported as being delivered. It did not get delivered. I didn't have it at my home. And so I emailed them and within a day they were like, we're sorry that happened. We are going to have a replacement sent out. Like no questions, no nothing. They're just sorry, replacement on the way. And they sent out the like five items in that package that had gotten lost. And I just told them courtesy myself, um, if the original package shows up, I'll forward it back to you. But so in that Everybody. case, they were super chill about it. Um, and it was funny because right after you commented that, I had someone comment on my last haul video on YouTube where I mentioned that, um, that situation being why I posted my haul so late in the month. They were like, my package got lost in the mail as well, except they couldn't send a replacement because they sold out of copies of Berserk and the guy was upset. And I'm like, if they sold out of something, what do you expect them to do? Like, but Berserk is now back in stock. So I I ordered Berserk and uh, it went out of stock before they could ship it. So now that it's back in stock, it should ship soon. So I still don't have it. I just um, ordered a copy today. Um, I was waiting for it to come back in stock. So, and I, I filled so I could get free shipping. I filled my my cart with that special edition of Kaiju number eight. Nice. Now let me highlight some quick comments here before we wrap up. Uh, I do want to bring this discussion back for one minute. Honestly, when I see mermaid manga, I think of Geo. I'm looking for the three manga because I mentioned them earlier and it would suck that I don't talk about them or show them off. Uh, they're coming out in, I think it's June. Because I'm weird like that. I already have wish lists for every month. I don't know if you guys do that. Do what? I have wish lists for every month and all the stuff that's coming out in that month. I should do that. I just do it like at the beginning or at the end of the month, I do I add anything, everything from the next month. The thing is, I do it while I'm at work because I'm bored. I'm like, I'll do that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Found him. All right. So we got three manga coming out. Uh, hold on. Let me open this thing again. Oh my god, I'm not a professional. What am I doing? This is why the show doesn't get sponsored. Okay. All right, so check this out. Um, in the month of June, we are getting three mermaid manga. Okay. Uh, the first one is A Sinner of the Deep Sea, Volume 1. This is by Akihito Tomi. And then uh, June 18th. And then on that same day, This Monster Wants to Eat Me, Volume 1. This is by Sai Naikawa. And on the 25th, Mermaid Prince, a one shot, one and done book, sorry, by Kaori Ozaki. There you go. Oh, so I think I have to get all three, right? I'm getting two of those. So, which ones are you getting? Uh, this one and then the GL one. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds pretty dark, too. Come to eat you. 
utters the mermaid as she emerges from the sea. Okay. And uh, this one is Little Mermaid, the manga. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this one is also about mermaids. Right there. So, yeah, that's a thing in my life now. Mermaids. Uh, all right, let me speed run through the comment section real quick uh, to see if I miss any questions. Um, Windbreaker manga is very fun, good characters, and some really great LGBT representation as well. Nice, we'd love to see that. Uh, fragrant, eh, fragrant flower blooms with dignity is amazing. Can't wait to get physicals in a few months. I did not know that was happening. Okay. Really love that first smoking behind the supermarket with you. I was kicking my feet and giggling a bit. It, it was it was it was fun. You spooey. Thank you. You didn't win, but I thank you for joining. <laughs> I like uh, Chiakuda quite a bit. Looking forward to volume two. That is uh, what a winner would up. say. He he me when it releases. Uh, every time I see medalists, I think of y'all doing the pose. Um, any manga, any manga fans can be so annoying. Like, what's their problem? I, I know, right? Magi vibes. Uh, I don't know what this means, but yes. A good thing about having a partner who's also into manga is that if you want to read a series, that they may just have it, so you don't have to buy anything. Good point. Little Mermaid the manga. Got to have my mermaid, mermaid manga. Uh, almost done. Edge for the sake of Edge. I got tired of Boys of Bizarre on chapter 80. Yes, that's when I dropped it too. Hell yeah. Oh, my morbid that. curiosity died out. Yes. Uh, Edge Lord the manga. Um, oh, we answered that one. Dandadan is not for beginners. Uh, what is wrong with these people? I know. Very mid. Skip and low for my babies. Uh, if you're someone who already has an eclectic taste in American comics, I think Dandadan could be a good starter manga for some of them. Uh, disrespecting my queen, Subakino from Windbreaker like that. Uh, so, yeah. I think... Ten dance. Oh, okay. We got some fans in the house. Ten dance. Ten dance. Heard ten good things about ten dance. <laughs> uh, how is Manga Plus? Only have the Viz ones. I recommend it, Josh. I think it's fantastic. I really enjoy going to Manga Plus versus the Viz app. I like the interface in Manga Plus and the fact that they get. Uh, non shun jump stuff and put it there is fun uh and it's mostly free i mean i don't pay for it and i read all the stuff for free and i keep up with it so i hope it stays that way don't encourage them folks just let's keep it like that nice and free uh <laughs> yeah that's what i was trying to say it's not historically accurate with its portrayal of slavery. Yes, they go through some rough batches, but uh, yeah, real life it was much worse. But still, it's a fun, it's a fun start to a dark fantasy manga. All right, we're out. I'm out. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Do a mermaid theme video, maybe. I'll dress up as a mermaid too. All right. So. Uh, that's going to be it. Uh, we've gone on for way too long. I apologize on that. That's my co-host. Uh, we'll be back on Monday for halls, previews, reads, all that fun stuff. And then Wednesday, we got a comic episode. And then Thursday, we'll be back with a manga stream. I do have two more books that are out that I want to talk about. Uh, I'll talk about them uh, on that stream. So thank you, everybody. Go follow everybody. And uh, peace and love. Hit the like button on your way out. Thanks to our sponsor, In Stock Trades. Thanks to uh, the chat. You guys are lovely as always. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless. Stay safe out there. We love every single one of you. Spud Boy, thank you so much for participating and winning 
that uh, uh, gift card. Jess does five hour streams. Jess is an animal when it comes to streaming. Holy crap! Five hours? No, I'm, I'm always sick. I can't. Do, I can't do that. I'm like the guy in Ghost Fixers right now. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>